Hey everyone and welcome to my Let's Play of Odin Sphere. Now I've talked about this game a lot and I love it. I'm here with Kenny. Hey everyone. And uh, so yeah, we're excited. We love this game. All right, we're gonna let this play through though because it's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are so frozen right now. Why? Because of the AC. Mm-hmm. Oh okay. But the AC is off now. It's 90 degrees outside, and it's probably 60 in here right now, so Yeah, that's... it's about 60 degrees. <laughs> I like it arctic. <laughs> so, there it goes. Okay. New game! So I <laughs> am going to set this to easy, because I want it to be fun. This game involves a lot of grinding. It's... All, the gameplay for easy, normal, and hard is all the same. And just watching it, it would just be frustrating if we didn't. Yeah, hard mode. it's it's already a difficult game. This so. game is for the story. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's my mouse. There's my mouse. Okay, hey. no, we should do English for the, the people English voice acting is who don't, not great for the people who don't want to stare at the screen the whole time. They're gonna read the the, the subtitles anyway. We do. Okay, here's the thing. We're gonna put it in Japanese. <laughs> Mention, tell me in the comments whether or not you want it in English. I know some of you listen, but at the same time, the English voice acting is not very good. Comparably. Comparably. Elitist. I'm not an elitist. Uh, you're, uh -huh. you're an elitist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is what you first see when you load up the game. Mm-hmm. Valkyrie. Okay, so you pick can, up the cat. You can pick up the cat. That's how you save if you... Jump up into this the chair. <laughs> Socrates sits on your lap, but we don't need to view the story. Did you make right a new now. save? Yeah. There's okay. A new save. Cool. So we won't actually have it. So we're gonna, get out of here, Socrates. <laughs> we're gonna pick up Valkyrie. This is the story of Gwendolyn. So you just jump up on that chair. Get comfy. Look. Read Valkyrie. There are a lot of cutscenes. Um, so again, read the subtitles. We're gonna be doing a little bit of talking over it. <laughs> Soul shines proudly after falling in battle. The birds have a belief. This is the only method of earning an immortal soul. Valkyrie, Prelude, Act 1. Storming battlefield. Oh, my hands are so cold right now. You know what? We should have showed what happens when you open the book to see all the story paths. Oh, yeah. Well, they'll see it. Yeah. Um... This first episode is probably going to involve a lot of story. Yeah. Like, a lot Well, the entire story. game is going to be all story. Well, okay. <laughs> the grinding segments I'm going to try to do either in, like, a secondary live stream during the week or just off camera. Okay, so... Uni unicorns versus Barbarians. Already, the game is more awesome than anything out in the market these days. <laughs> well, the unicorns are 
from Odin's kingdom. No, the barbarians are from Odin's yeah. kingdom. The unicorns are... The fairies. The fairies. And they also have that weird sort of like chimera thing. Yeah. So we're jumping in on a war between the Norse and the fairies The right The Vonner and the Aesir. Yeah. It's so quiet now. So Griselda gets the really cool pink armor. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, don't give up. I mean, I know you're hardcore dying right now, but you should, you should totes live. It's kind of funny how Gwendolyn's like, no, I won't take your spear, but she's holding it. Yeah. She's like, I, I won't. I mean, I, I will. <laughs> Ted. Ted Nin is very agitated right now because it's storming outside. Tiz. I know it's a dramatic moment, but we really kind of got to talk through it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot that. She's suicidal for half the game. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, I want to I wanna die. My dad sucks. To be fair, their dad does suck. Yes. So this game is a... It's the result of a partnership between Vanillaware and Atlas. I think Atlas was just publishing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And handling distribution. Yeah. This game didn't get a ton of distribution. It should have. It really should have. It's a very good game. So if you know anything about Norse mythology... Then you can probably tell a lot of the stuff that's going to be coming up in this game. Like, we visit the underworld, we visit the world tree. Mm -hmm. But there is a lot of it that's... Their own It's yeah. take on it, yeah. A lot of it isn't actually a thing. I forget his name. Is it Oswald? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oswald. <laughs> it's like, I was waiting until that guy <laughs> went away. He's scary. <laughs> Prelude Act 2. Storming Battlefields. More Storming Battlefields. Okay, this is your first experience of gameplay. And we'll see how this goes. It's going to be great. <laughs> so you'll notice the map on the bottom is a circle. Yeah, um, that's why it's called Odin Sphere. One of the reasons it's called Odin Sphere. One, two, three, four. <laughs> They're like mash. <laughs> mash like your life depends on it. Which it does. Now her really cool thing is this is how she moves. The gliding is really useful. Yeah. Each character has a different way of moving, and there are five different five characters, characters we're going to be yeah. playing. So while gliding, boom, do that. Guard against enemy attacks. I never remember to guard. That's yeah. that's my biggest issue. Is I'll get frustrated well, and have to grind it, a bunch. It uses up your uh, stamina, mm -hmm. so it's better to dodge stuff. Honestly. Yeah. Like, pow. <laughs> pow is consumed when attacking or garden, gardening. Yeah, guarding. <laughs> oh, come on. There is gardening in this game. You'll be seeing a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Really, this is basically just a, an organization and bag management simulator. Mm -hmm. I say that with the utmost love. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to tell me to collect phosons in a second. Balls of light called phosons are released. Absorbing phosons raises your weapon level. So, oh, you... Get out of here. So fight those guys. Oh, I thought he was going to run into the... Uh... Mm. He's dead. Got that guy there. Come on. Then you charge up. Mm. And all the phosons that were released throughout the battle 
come back to you. <laughs> you cry <guys> suck. <laughs> of course, this is just a tutorial. It's really easy for me to be all big and fancy. Oh, they want me to use, use my Cyclone, cypher skills. Yeah. There we go. You so, do get more skills over time. It's pretty fun. Everyone gets them in different orders, too. So yeah. you'll have a strategy all planned out, and then later you won't get Cyclone till the end or something like that. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't wait till we get to the cooking section. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can see how ridiculous the cooking thing in this is. It's not ridiculous bad. It's just... Basic, I'll tell you right now. Basically what happens is, is that you go to like here. You get you get recipes for the mm. kitchens. You get a cafe, you get a kitchen. The kitchen is more like a diner. The cafe is all fancy. One place gives you takeout food. The other you sit in and eat. Mm -hmm. But it's super funny because you have to take them a specific type of money. You have to take them the recipe itself and all the ingredients. So essentially you're just paying them to cook for yeah. you. Which I suppose if you had like paid help or something it would make sense. Mm. But... If you're familiar at all with any other Vanillaware games, you know how much they care about food. Yeah. Oh, I should read these. Weapons crafted with rare magical crystals are called ciphers. Unlike normal weapons, these weapons have the ability to quote-unquote grow and become more powerful. Where's that other one? I should read it. So you'll pretty much be leveling two things throughout the game. Your HP and your Fozon yeah, level. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. What are phosons? Phosons are forms of energy used as a magical so or as a source of magic by sorcerers as well as elemental entities like fairies. However, do not forget that their beautiful shine is that of a creature's life, and phosons only appear when a living creature passes away. It's kind of like in Dark Souls. Hmm. Okay, so move on to the. Oh, oh, they're gonna teach you it right now. Okay. Yep. Oh, we're just gonna eat it. That's eat a that mulberry. So you just leveled up to level two. Yeah. Oh, I'm usually better at sliding <laughs> down and just grabbing those. The essence of food. Eating food heals injuries and helps strengthen the body, increases HP level. Food becomes your own flesh and blood, replenishing vital energy. Those who eat healthy food will strengthen their bodies. Eating carefully prepared food enhances growth. Uncooked food takes more time to consume and digest. It's it's all it's all pretty self explanatory. It's all pretty simple. <laughs> oh, a seed. A seed. They're gonna they're gonna give me people to fight. So we put that in the ground. And then we need Fozons. There they are. So the Fozons are going to be drawn to the seed. If you don't have enough Fozons on a level to grow or finish growing your seeds and you have no way to get more Fozons, it is extremely frustrating. Sydney, it is exceptionally frustrating because you, you have a seed that you just leave there. It's mm -hmm. just, just hanging out. And you're like, oh man, seed. So you got your mulberries. Yeah, we're gonna... Are you one already? Mm-hmm. We're gonna level up. Oh, okay. Go away. So every time you level up, your HP goes up. Yeah, again. I mean, it's... If you look up in the corner, it says three, and then two is the cypher level, which is gonna go up in a second. Oh, almost. Um, ah, oh, you butt face. So every single stage in this has a ranking. The better your rank, the better stuff you'll get at the end. Get Look money. at all that stuff. Yeah, come here. Treasures! New text added to the archive. In battle where, where one's life is always in danger, many soldiers hide their valuables before fighting. Defeat your enemies quickly before they hide their treasure. I don't know what to do. I just realized that's why it gets worse. Mm -hmm. Is the longer you take. Yeah. By absorbing phosons, the weapon's attack power is enhanced. Also, it is said that the absorbed phosons can be used to cast very various magical spells. Yeah, it's all, like I said, it's all pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, Move to the exit marker. Yeah, so we're just going to leave. So you saw a brief picture of the map there. Mm -hmm. Right now we're going into another yeah. cutscene. That's old. Damn it. <laughs> so you went kind of bad. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember who they traded in Norse mythology. They traded Freya to the Asir. Did they? Yes. Okay. 
and they traded one of the Asir to the Vanir in order to attain peace. Um, but I can't remember. Hmm. I've read a collection of Norse mythology. I just kind of like that the gods in Norse mythology are, it's kind of like in Greek and Roman where they're just, they have very human characteristics. They, mm. They're fuck-ups in a lot of ways. Yeah, going to go out to fight. He's going out to punch the faces. Yep, so, Odin's their dad. Just lost a daughter. They didn't say anything about it. Well, he has a lot of daughters. Yeah. But it was Griselda and Gwendolyn who were his favorites. In the Od in Odin's sphere. I don't think yeah, that was real, right? No, they're okay. not. They're not a thing. Oh, okay. It will let me bring up my other game. So, okay. there we go. So just save that one? Yep. Sid's making weird noises. Chapter so, 1, Act 1. We're actually in the game. Mm -hmm. Tutorial's over. Tutorial's never over, no, honestly. Because every time you have a new character. Mm -hmm. She's got the pretty turquoise. Mm -hmm. I have a Gwendolyn figurine. It was really nice. You should get some video of that. Yeah, except her base is broken. I gotta fix it. Oop. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, in between every stage, you get these little talk to people moments. Yeah. Sorry, don't mind me. Yeah. <laughs> Had to fix something. Alright. Oh, there's a. What's his name? Yeah. I'm asking what's his name. Oh. <laughs> um. Brigand, I think. Okay. Look at that treasure trail he's got going on. <laughs> Yeah, Brigand. Like, that's not foretelling at all. His name is <laughs> short version of Brigand. <laughs> or first uh, mention of dragons, which will be a big thing later on. Mm -hmm. But that's a, that is a big thing oh, in yeah. Norse mythology. I can't remember if we fight Nidog. I don't think so. Which one is Nidog? Because that, that name sounds familiar. I think Nidog is the the dragon that gnaws at the roots of the world tree. But yeah, no, that's not that's not a thing in this game. We fight uh, Belial, Wagner, mm. and eventually another dragon. Yeah, we've uh, we've played this before. I think we both beat it once or twice mm -hmm. in the past. Yeah, we've played it quite a bit. I um. Yeah, we'll do our best not to give any spoilers. Mm -hmm. But we've played it so much at this point, it's like, oh yeah, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that thing? We can't obtain the cauldron. So basically there's this thing called the cauldron. And it's just hanging out on the battlefield where they're fighting. The the fairies want it. The uh, Odin's people want it. Because it makes ciphers. They yes, because right? it makes yeah. ciphers. They okay. can take jewels from the underworld and make ciphers. Now the issue being, Odin is obviously more dangerous. The Queen of the Fairies, she wants it because she's like let's stop Odin from pulling all this garbage. Mm. And Odin's like I want to make ciphers. <laughs> so really, really. Oh, Puka. Yep. You're going to see lots of these. They have a backstory. You'll find that out. They're so cute. I mean, that's probably rude for me to say. They're... Are, are they a race or a species? They were a race. And then they... Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, no, but no, I'm saying, like... I'm saying, you know how in, like, World of Warcraft they have... The gnomes. They have, it's like... Well, no, they have these humanoids and things like that. Like the, like the Torrens and all that. Yeah. I Would you argue that they are a... Well, they're technically a race amongst themselves. Yeah. But they're also a different species. Ish. Well, yeah. yeah, which yeah. isn't a problem. I'm just always wondering. How, and like, I, I think it's really disrespectful. <laughs> they call them like humanoids. It's like, well, that's not fair to compare. Just because they're bipedal doesn't well, mean Well, that's, that's what humanoid means in the context. It's not I like... know, but I, I just weird. <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal either way. It's just, 
It's one of those things you always wonder. <laughs> okay, we have nothing to sell. You sure? Yeah, That's no, a mulberry. I'm not. I'm not selling my mulberry. Not my precious mulberry. Okay. I do have enough money to buy a thing. And buy multiples at once. Oh. Yep. Yep. We can buy. I don't know if I want to increase my HP or attack power. I think I always go for one of the two. I can't remember which. <laughs> that is exceptionally helpful. What's the speed belt? Speed belt increases running speed, and... which I don't want. It throws it throws me off okay. in attacks. What we're going to get is either the Saturn Bangle or the Star Pendant. I got the Saturn Bangle in my other game. It works pretty well until I get frustrated. Well, and you find better gear, too, later. You do get a better version of the Saturn Bangle later, but we'll get, we'll get one now. Okay. So, select the coins. You have different coins. Some of them... Right now, we only have titanium gold. And we're going to be spending all of that because it's worth 10 gold apiece. Ragnan Silver is worth 1. Aerial coins, Valentinian coins, and oh god, there's another one that I've been, you want we'll to keep hold out, of those. Yeah. Titanium gold can get a little difficult to get later in the game, but there are places where you can farm it. Um, it's your Valentinian and aerial coins that you need later to pay for food, like really good food <laughs> that you need to make. Yeah, it's only ten um, gold. Oh, it's ten. Okay. Yeah. Buzzing. Mm, gimme. Now, do you have to equip that? Yeah, we gotta equip it. So you just go in and you click it. Cool. There you go. Um, oh, I forgot you can only have one one item equipped. Yeah. Only one at a time. I was gonna eat that mulberry, but you know, I'm just gonna keep it. Don't eat. Save it for when you need it. Raging Battlegrounds. So, this was the map. The world map. You saw a brief glimpse of all the locations. We could have explained it a bit more if you didn't just jump right in. Yeah, well, <laughs> Penny and I are annoyed at each other tonight. I was joking. <laughs> I know, don't tickle me, ass. <laughs> There's a bird. <laughs> bird. <laughs> Tiger. Birdie. My own pride. Oh, for a second where it was faded on the sides, I thought it went into uh, widescreen. Like, Wait, what? Mm -hmm. So this is essentially her hallucinating. <laughs> She's the guilt, of... yeah. Yeah. She's got survivor's guilt. It's her persona. Mm -hmm. The resin figure I have is kind of funny because, like, her skirt flies up in the back. <laughs> you can see her butt. Which I think was the point of the figure. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Like, not her nude butt. She's got... She's got panties on. <laughs> like, shut up! Hallucinations suck. <laughs> that bird is just mocking. <laughs> Haters gonna hate. Chapter 1, Act 3, Frontlines of the Cauldron War. <laughs> We're doing that thing that's kind of like when you're driving past <laughs> like a, uh, road a billboard. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, KFC has, has <laughs> bones in the chicken again. <laughs> oh, hi. Don't just cyclone off the bat. Don't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Those, you know, those wimps you just Ooh. killed. These drop, they disappear relatively quickly. Yeah. So you always want to... We're going to see what we get. We're probably going to get a mulberry seed. There are no mandragora in the earlier levels, which sucks. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mandragora are like vegetables that are hidden in, in the ground that you pick up and then can cook. Gimme. Gimme. Seeds and cultivation, the thing you're going to be doing constantly. <laughs> Seed Seeds absorb phosons and produce fruit when planted. The amount of phosons required to ripen fruit varies, but the more pl a plant needs, the better the fruit. Fruit will turn overripe when left on branches for too long. It is recommended that you pick the fruit as soon as it ripens. There Unless are a couple you things. need it for those yeah, recipes. There are a couple recipes yeah. where you need withered napples, which is basically like an apple, and withered Rotten muggles. mulberries, right? Oh, yeah. Um... Rotten mulberries, withered napples, withered um, muggles. Mm. Yeah, muggles are an interesting one because they grow their own seeds. Whoops. Boo boo. We're gonna grow some of those. The phosons will eventually disappear. No, they won't. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it takes a while, but 
they do eventually disappear. So our hit points have gone up. We should have enough. If we don't have enough to grow the damn mulberry, I swear to God. It looks like it's going to be fine. Once it gets to that green point, I think you're safe. Yeah. Oh, no. Sometimes, like, the muggles will grow completely. Mm. Except it won't pop out the fruit. Really? And then it's just like, no. All right. So once you're done with an area, um, you just go to the exit. We'll save that. Mm. Hang on. That's not what I'm looking for. So right now we can't see anything. We will get a map later. Mm -hmm. Those stars represented the difficulty mm -hmm. of the area. That was a one star map. Yeah, that's why I went so quickly. Yep. Some of these are just not gonna go well. I'm, I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> oh, I didn't suck up the rest of the phosons. Well. I think I think that was all it looked Great like. Job. Nothing bounced off of the plant. I think it's calculated that way. Oh, first flying enemy, here's a fairy. They're very annoying. Okay, I was gonna say. <laughs> Sometimes it's also frustrating because you'll be doing well and it'll waste your time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the lag spawn is sometimes an issue where yeah, there's it's nothing on screen. Really annoying. Okay, there we go. We're gonna leave those in case we get a seed. Yep. And I'm gonna eat a mulberry right now because I've lost some HP. Oh boy. Well, this is how you level up. <laughs> oh, I got an A. Imagine what would be in this treasure chest had you gotten an S. Oh, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> we got a map at least. Yep. Also some napalm, mm -hmm. which is like just a smart bomb that you can use. Napalm's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna grow mulberries. I'm surprised it didn't, didn't explain it to you. No, it will later. We eat mulberry. We grow mulberry, we eat mulberry. Yeah, I think you can suck that one up. There you go. Later on, you get an ability that lets you release stored phason, phosons. Which is nice, because, yeah. like I said, sometimes you'll, uh, screw it up. <laughs> the game does experience- oh god. Uh, ex does experience a little bit of lag, mm -hmm. but it's- I like to big. prefer to call that slow motion for when you're fighting stuff. Looks really like, cool. Like, you know, iframes. There are certain things that you're guaranteed to get. The thing at the end, you're yeah. absolutely guaranteed to get. You know, once we explain all of this, we won't explain it again. We won't, mm -hmm. you know, do this whole didactic thing. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. Hang on, I have an itch in my eye. And since I'm the one playing, you have to wait for me. I could have been playing this, but she wouldn't let me. It sounds like I wouldn't let him. <laughs> it said it's my channel and I wanted to do it. Oh, there's the alarm after this. Oh, butterfly. Damn it, come here. Butterflies give you more phosons. They give you a lot of phosons. Mm -hmm. Come on, where are you? You're wasting my time. Oh, I think this... Okay. Oh, you now... cyclone did that? Oh, whatever. Come here. It wanted you to get the phosons and then you cyclone. Now, oh, sometimes enemies can get through it, like if they were too close. You notice that happened there. Yeah. I timed it. Woo! Yeah, we'll just... Gonna take miss, care of that guy. You're gonna miss that one. Well, he missed me anyway. <laughs> These usually drop money or um, sort of useful items, which mm -hmm. is why I tend to be really eager, because they will disappear yeah. relatively quickly. Those chests will. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. You carry over bonus points from your last map, too. Yeah. Toxin. Um, spotting butterflies. Tales from long ago describe a mystical glowing butterfly. It is rarely seen and one is considered very lucky to encounter it. It is said that phosons can gather together and materialize in the form of a butterfly. This butterfly can only be seen for a brief period of time. Yeah, very brief. <laughs> hey, come here. Okay, so ending the episode here. Did we get another seed? No. No, so we're just gonna... I'm just gonna eat some mulberries. <laughs> this is how we're gonna end the episode. Delicious mulberries. Hot cross buns are a healing item. Just, um, yeah. Mulberries do heal you. But that's 50, like cooked food. Yeah, 50 HP, 5 experience. So you get shit for experience, but you get a little bit of HP. Mm -hmm. This is 20, but 70 um, experience, and you can just pop them in your mouth so fast. But um, usually, I tip, uh, usually I typically, <laughs> usually I'll just use them. Um, to level up early on. Yeah. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. Please remember to leave a comment, a like, a favorite, a share. Any of those things is super helpful. Let's YouTube know you're watching. Let's them know what you think. Um, keep an eye out for, uh, like, if you want to subscribe to me on Twitch, 
mm, excuse me, you'll be able to see me um, grind a little bit uh, for this. Just level up. If there are any cutscenes that happen during the You'd grinding segment, I'll save them and then I'll put them in to the normal episodes. But odds are, what I'm going to do is just grind in between. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much, and we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.